Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I am outside today and it's beautiful. It's uh, you know partly cloudy so it's nice. Uh, I want to say it's about uh, 72 degrees and I want to tell you all of the ways so far that I figured out how to charge my EB3A either through solar uh, or through extending it through a battery or even attaching solar to that battery so you can daisy chain all that power together. And I'm going to show you uh, pretty much everything that I've come across uh, in this whole journey to be able to make this Blue Eddy EB3A as powerful and it has the most capacity that you could possibly get. So let's get started. Okay, and now for this demonstration, we're going to be talking all about solar and how you can use solar to extend the life of your EB3A either through an additional battery, like I have this uh, Vetter 50 amp battery over here, or uh, just, just through solar. So let's just demonstrate what it looks like through solar. And we're gonna be showing everything on the app. So let's go ahead and bring up the app right now. There we go. And then uh, you can see what I'm seeing uh, when it comes to all the numbers that we're getting. So let's go ahead and just plug in solar right now. But let's say, what, why are we even using the EB3A? Right now, I'm charging up my phone. So, you know, we're getting about five, we're taking about five watts out of the DC. But let's say that it's kind of dark out and it's nighttime. Now, let's just say it's not nighttime. Let's just say it's cooler outside. And we have a 12 volt heated blanket right here. So let's go ahead and plug that in as well. Okay, our heated blanket is now plugged in and you can see that the DC has jumped up to a little bit over 50 watts. Now, and our display, our display on the EB3A does show that it, it can run that for about three and a half hours. But let's go ahead and plug in a solar panel and, uh, and see what we get out of that. Okay, now the solar panel that I have is this uh, U-Green 100 watt solar panel down here and it uses XT60 connectors. Now the EB3A does not so you will have to create your own wire to go from the EB3A to uh, the XT60 connector for the solar panel and it looks just like this. You can buy these on Amazon it's just a, a 8 millimeter connector that goes to a bare wires. I think you can get like a two pack of them and then you can just crimp them onto an XT60 connector. And then the XT60 connector, uh, you know, it just connects to the U-Green solar panel. So let's go ahead and wire that in and let's plug it into the, uh, to the Blue Eddy. Okay, and as you can see, the sun decided to start coming out. So now we are getting 56 watts of solar and we are using 49 watts from our Blue Eddy for our, our heated blanket and uh, to charge my phone. So now we are basically running on pure solar because we are actually getting more solar power than we are actually using from the items that are plugged in. Um, but let's say that uh, you know, I, I don't want to go just solar. I have a 50 amp battery that I want to plug into my EB3A. So you can do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's unplug the EB3A. And what I've done is I have just a cable that has an XT60 connector connected to it right here that connects directly to the positive and negative of my 50 amp better 12 volt battery. So let's go ahead and unplug this and plug it into here. And now this is my battery connection. Let's go ahead and plug it in. And you can see straight from a 12 volt battery, we are getting 96 watts. And that's without any solar at all. That's just straight from this battery. So now we are powering the EB3A 
through a 12 volt battery. So we're basically charging the EB3A and, um, and we're powering these devices at the same, this, this blanket and charging my phone at the same time. But you're thinking, okay, so what happens if that battery runs down? Like how, how do I charge that? Uh, well, let's go ahead and use this solar panel that we just disconnected and plug it straight in to the battery via a solar charge controller. And this solar charge controller right here from Bacteria Power is perfect because it is very portable and it's completely waterproof. So, and it's a 20 amp charger, so that'd be plenty of power for a 100 watt solar panel. And what you would do is you would need to make a connection from your XT60 to the input of your solar charge controller. And what you would need to do first is you would need to plug this into your battery because you do not want to plug it directly into the solar panel first. So let's find the connection to the battery, which I've made right here just with a simple extension cord for demonstration purposes. So what we're gonna do is just plug this cord in right here, which these, uh, these SAE uh, connections, they come with this uh, solar charge controller. So all you gotta do is just crimp them on. So let's go ahead and put it on the output because we are gonna be charging the battery. And the solar charge controller should turn on, and it does. And it shows 12.6 volts on the charge controller. And now we gotta do our input. And again, the input, since I'm using an XT60 connector, I made a little small wire that is the SAE to XT60 uh, connection. So all you gotta do is crimp these together. Let's go ahead and connect it to the SAE connection. All right. And then to our solar panel. All right. Okay, so now the Blue Eddy app shows that we are, uh, we have a PV, we have a PV input of 95 watts. And what that is, is from the battery straight to the, to the Blue Eddy. But we also have a connection going from the battery through this charge controller and let's go ahead and pull up the charge controller on the screen. Okay, and there is the, uh, there is the screen for our, um, our Bacteria Pro 20 amp controller. So you can see that we're bringing in 75 watts of power from there. So we're charging the battery at 75 watts and the battery is giving the EB3A 96 watts. And now you're thinking, okay, well, I mean, that's, that's not enough wattage for what I'm using. Well, I mean, what you can do is instead of using one 100 watt solar panel, you can use two. So let's go ahead and get those hooked up. Okay, I've got the solar panels all hooked up now. I've got 200 watts. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, and here are the two U-Green panels. What they are is there's an XT60 cable connection right here and here, and they go into a splitter right here. So this splitter is connecting directly to this cable that I made, which is an XT60 to SAE connection, which goes into the solar charge controller. And you can see on the screen that the solar charge controller is actually bringing in 156 watts, which the connection is right here. And it's this orange cable, it's pretty long, but you can see it right down there. And it goes up to my battery right here. And there's also these connections right here, where these are the connections from the battery and they loop around and they connect via XT60 and they are connected to an eight millimeter connection right here. So you can see that these two 100 watt panels, which is now 200 watt panel, is connected directly to my battery via the uh, solar charge controller and we are bringing in 152 watts. But if you look at the Blue Eddy, it is, uh, I mean, it can only it can only bring in it can only bring in 97 watts because we're maxing out at 12 volts right now. So you're kind of like, well, what if what if I want to charge it even faster? Uh, I mean, I'm getting so much solar, and what's happening is that uh, we're charging up this battery and we're charging up the Blue Eddy at the same time. But what if I want to charge the Blue Eddy faster? Well, that's where 
this guy comes in and it is a DC to DC converter and it converts 12 volts, which is this battery, to 24 volts, which this can accept. So let's go ahead and hook that up and see what that does. Okay, so all we would need to do is we would disconnect our Blue Eddy and take off this XT60 connection. And instead of this cable that goes from the battery to this XT60 connection, we're going to put it on the 12 volt side of this one, which I also connected XT60 connectors to. As you can see, XT60 connectors are awesome if you want to be able to switch these around really quickly. So here's the battery and it's going to the 12 volt side. So we're gonna put it right here. And then this is gonna convert it to 24 volts. So let's go ahead and plug it in over here. And now we have this cable again and let's plug it into the Blue Eddy. And let's see what the screen shows. Okay, now on the Blue Eddy, you can see that we are charging with 193 watts because we doubled the voltage using this boost converter right here. Uh, and so what we're doing is we're going directly from the battery, going into this boost converter, which is boosting it from 12 volts to 24 volts. And now that is being input into the Blue Eddy and that is giving us our 194 watts. But let's see what we're getting for our solar. And now our solar input is 150 watts. But the nice thing is that we're pulling 190 watts from the battery, but we're putting in 150 watts from solar. So we're only using 40 watts of power uh, from that, that 50 amp battery, which is 640 watts. So you could do that all day. I mean, you can do it for what, uh, 13, 14 hours? So, but the best part is, is that once your Blue Eddy gets charged up all the way, it won't, it won't be accepting any more power. It won't be accepting that 190 watts. So all of that is gonna go into your battery. So you can easily charge up your Blue Eddy and charge up your battery uh, in one nice sunny day with this configuration. So I know I went through a lot. There's a lot of wires. There's a lot of talk of XT60 connections, but I'm telling you, even though, even though I don't have Blue Eddy solar panels, and even though I, you know, I have a, a, a 50 amp battery, I mean, and the battery is what's nice, you can have a 50 amp battery, you can have a 100 amp 12 volt battery, you can get rid of this thing altogether and just get a 24 volt battery. That way, because, because your Blue Eddy does accept up to 28 volts. Yeah, up to 28 volts. So, you can get a 24 volt 100 amp hour battery. I mean, and you would have power for days and days and days. So I hope that this, I hope that this little demonstration, even though it's just mind boggling uh, amount of information, is helpful to you. And to let you know that just because you have a Blue Eddy doesn't mean you can be stuck with that small little amount of capacity. You can buy an external battery. You can buy portable solar panels just make sure you have those right connections. What I say is connect them up to XT60s, that way everything is foolproof. You can't accidentally connect the XT60s in the wrong spots because they're male-female connections. So, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions about everything that I kind of went through, uh, please leave them in the comments. I'll have, uh, I'll have all links to everything that I use in the description. So if you have any, you know, if you, if you want to look into these things further, uh, please go ahead and click on those. Thanks again for watching this video. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.